everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Elden Ring, shall we? We're in Castle Morn. There's a bunch of dead soldiers. It's not looking good. The famous pressure plate elevator. You know, you kind of wonder... I'm going to use my torch just to look around while I go up. Why there aren't more pressure plate... Uh elevators in reality and then you immediately understand why the death count would be staggering okay uh, so there's people worshipping look in there I'm, I'm going to use my uh, telescope check this out look at these guys like doing some kind of ritualistic tribal worship of, I guess, a, somebody being burned at the stake? I don't really know what's happening here, but it doesn't appear to be good. God, I didn't want to do that. I don't. I need to figure out how to cancel, <laughs> cancel the telescope. Um, okay. Anywho, let's get the dogs out, and let's see how difficult these enemies are to fight. Nah, too far away. Uh, okay, they take a couple of these. Alright, it's fine. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It's gonna take me some of the... A fair bit of flasks. To get through these dudes. Now, these guys don't seem to be really fighting back. They're like, I'm in the thralls of worship and I'm too busy to actually fight you. Okay. This guy's bigger. Maybe he's going to be harder. I don't know. I didn't get that impression. Gosh, there are so many of these guys. Okay, oh. Oh, darn, that thing. On the ground. Oh, my goodness. Why can't I target that bird? Come on, bird. Yeah. Aww. This bird has been pretty much the bane of my existence. Okay, can anybody... There we go. Got it. Okay, and then here's you. This is a very difficult part because it takes a lot of resources to kill these guys. I'm going to need to find a Cider Grace pretty soon. Ooh, level 2 smithing stones, though. Oh my god. If I get some more of those babies, we could upgrade our staff even further. And that would be... Pretty much the stuff of legends. Alrighty. Let me see what else we got here. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, well, there's a lot of smoldering butterflies for me, at the very least. Yeah. So many. It's a great place for butterflies. And okay, that's typical um, of guys like this, which is that uh, they get like they're very weak enemies, but they get some crazy reckless attack that can still kill you, and it just keeps going and going. It's like an all or nothing thing, so if you don't pay attention to where those guys are you will be punished as I was right there alright so I, I kind of dropped my guard and almost paid the ultimate price now I really need a sight of grace in here uh, it looks like there wants to be one does that count 
And we got a claymore. Ooh, a big sword. I like how all these kind of... I don't want to say workshop, but just these uh, depots or these armories just have a whole bunch of cool weapons in them. Now, here's a bad guy out there. And I am unfortunately running a bit low on my magic, so I got to be careful. It would be really cool. Oh, look. He's fighting that soldier. Now, the soldier will fight me as well if it's not already dead, but that's interesting to see that, like, you know, these guys are at war with these guys, and on and on and on. So this castle is under siege at the moment by baddies. I'm going to go up here because this structure looks totally safe. And really, this is just my quest for some kind of foothold in this portion of the castle. But it looks like that's a, a pipe dream. Because there's all kinds of combat going on. I need to go back down, unfortunately. I, uh... I can't make any headway there with the limited magic that I have. I accidentally used one trying to put my telescope away, one flask charge. I knew that circle didn't cancel the flask charge because that's what I pushed last time to jump off of a bridge. So I was trying a different button. Oh, okay, we got some souls. That's cool. I would like... Uh, the MVP would be to get some flask charges from, you know, finishing off a group of the enemies. But that doesn't seem to be in the cards at all. Alright. Alright, there's more. Yeah, there's a bad guy down there. Maybe he'll give me a flask charge. I'm just going to pretend. I'm going to pick up all these butterflies, by the way. Oh, this guy's almost dead. All right, cool. Come on, dude. Please. Aww. You could have been a lot cooler about things by just helping out just just the slightest about. All right, so there's two uh, temporary scaffoldings built over here. Okay, and then there is... Uh, oh, God, there's a huge guy sitting down right there. I... Don't he's like one of those pumpkin head guys. I don't really want to deal with him at the moment. Hmm. 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 And, you know, I might have to. Hmm. Well. You know what though? There's a possibility that I just skip all this. Like, what if I just run through it? How many of them will aggro if I do that? Probably a lot of them, but I don't think all of them. Either way, I can't take anything as is. Boy, look at the shadows under my eyes. This is, uh, this is tough work. I'm getting some serious bags here. Alright. Some of the rest. And then... I'd like to level up, but I, I don't have enough to do that. I'm going to hop on here. Okay. I'm not even going to summon wolves. I'm not going to summon anything. I'm going to try to run straight to the big guy. And take him out and look for uh, something on the other side. Now, I know these dogs, for example, will fight me. There's not really any way around that. They're not worshipping. They're, like, just eating. So they are e more easily distracted. But these guys, yeah, they, they look like they'll stick over there and just do their thing. And so if that's the case... I'm going to kind of try to creep around here. 
And then... Is anybody following me? No? No? Okay, good. So then I will summon uh, my nobles. I'm going to pump up to my bigger spell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, my guy's got in the way. Come on now, dudes. Uh oh. This guy is so much harder when he's ready for you. Alright, we got him. Sanctuary stone. Okay, so let's just cheap move over to uh, the cheaper spell. Take out this guy. I'm going to keep looking around over here. There is an item back here. Let's just kind of see what we got. It's a smithing stone level one. Okay. Oh, but three of them. That's cool. All right. I'm going for the big cheese. We're looking for one thing and one thing only, and that's the sight of grace. Mm -hmm. I mean, this castle. A lot of ladders. Okay. Friendly guy. He was rushing to greet me. Uh huh. Uh. They have hung a lot of these foot soldiers and seem to be relishing their opportunity. Oh, God. Okay, this is bad. He's sitting there with like one hit point dodging my spells like a real piece of work. All right, we got him. Let's see. Now, I wonder... No, this is not the same. It doesn't go to the same place that I was before that I turned around at. All right, there's a way down over there. There's a ladder. But I'm just checking this area here. I mean, there's some butterflies. Is there anything else over here that you would want. Well, there's a side of grace. I mean, and I definitely want that. That looks very tempting. That will allow to us to explore this place more fully. Alright, now, does this go over there, though? See, the question is, if I go down here, am I going to be able to return to that side of grace? And maybe not. Maybe this is its own little small passage. I'll check it out. All right, so heading over this way, I see the air tree. I don't see anything too bad. They really spent time building as many gallows as they could. Ah, look at this sneaky guy. Hi, sneaky. Stop taking my magic points, sneaky. Alright, so I'm just going to get this item and then try to get to that side of grace down there. And it's smithing stone level 2. Two of them. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh my. I'm, I need to check this, actually. Actually, one more thing I want to do is clear my indicator. I have a, a marker on... And I don't need this beacon anymore, so I'm just going to remove the beacon so it's not constantly haunting me. Then what I'm going to do is going to go to my inventory. I'm going to check how many smithing stones level 2 do I have. I have five of them. I think I need six to get to the next level. So I'm going to, you know, wait for that point. Hmm. 
Very good full body workout, all of these ladders. I'm here for the exercise mainly. Becoming the Elden Lord, that's just a secondary part of my overall project. All right, I am going to drop down. The difficulty of dropping down is it might put me into a position where I'm stuck, but the great thing about this game is you can just teleport, so. This, and this is not an area that is preventing me from doing that. All right. So let's see, where am I, first of all? And, well, now the question is, wait a minute, I got down here, but can I get out of here? What? Oh, yeah, you can drop down. But again, this is like a one-way ticket. There's a sight of grace here, but there's no other way that I can see. Maybe my horse could double jump up there? I can't summon it here, though. All right, down we go. This is usually what they do before a boss or something. So let's see how this plays out. I right, just want to double check back here and make sure there's no surprises. Uh, yep, there's an item here, so I could drop down and get this. Let's do that. This is a little bit reckless, but hey, you got to live dangerously if you want to get this item. Hey, it's a stone sword key. Fantastic. I actually want to go back and use my keys on the, uh, oh no, slugs, uh, inside the round table hole, there is something that I want to use my keys on, man, these guys don't give hardly anything. Oh, there's a ghost in the jail here. Alright. Uh, how's everybody doing? Pickled turtleneck. Oh, slimes. Please help me. I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Right, right, right. I can't talk to you right now. I've got a problem. Oh, God. There's something behind me. What is it? more slum slimies all right we got slimies honestly can i just fight you uh not very well oh god horribly is actually the answer to that question all right let me just get out of here yeah so there's slugs and slimies everywhere i don't see any purpose to fighting them the only reason i would want to fight these guys is so that i can talk to that ghost but I'm running a bit low on supplies. Uh-oh. Well. Now, unfortunately, even with doing that, I'm so bad with weapons that uh, I'm not getting too much from this. I need to just dodge this guy. Okay. Oh, this is a tougher one. Ow. Ow. Kill the D. All your shenanigans. All your maneuvers cost me everything. Alright, I should have expected such craziness. Alright, we got butterflies. Is that it? Oh, there's a ladder. Boy, this place is really taking me up and down and all around. I don't know what to make of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what's in here? The Twin Blade Talisman. Okay. So we got that. And the Twin Blade Talisman is... Uh, what kind of a talisman is it? Enhances final hit of chain attacks. Oh, okay. So it's probably sweet if you're, you know, 
into that kind of thing. I am not. Alright. Break your table. That should set them back years. Alright, now I can drop down to the top of that. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to drop down onto this roof. And I don't know if that's the right play. But I can always teleport back to the beginning if I have to. There's an item down there. And... That's bad. I can hear the chiming of something. All right, let's go get this item. Tarnished golden sunflower times three. Oh, here it is. Teardrop scarabs. There are both crimson and cerulean teardrop scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flask that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum allows. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's nice to get. I wish it was a cerulean one and not a crimson one. But, okay. Interesting. Now, I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let me look around. Is there a way into this building? Hello? Hello? I fell all the way down here. Don't you have something for me? No, there was just those sunflowers? Is that really it? Hello? Hmm. There's an endless pit. There, I could just drop off into the ocean if I felt like it. Uh, oh, maybe I can go this way. Can I go this way? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. It requires a bit of a jump, but we made it. Gosh. This is a, a very uh, surprising level design for Castle Morn. I'm getting all turned around. Maybe that's the point. Alright, please no bad guys. I'm, I'm just about spent on my resources. Okay. I don't see anything. Alright. Um, let's see. So if I fall on the beam the right way, I can get this item. So I need to try to do that. I think this lines up correctly. Yay. What you got over here, dude? Oh my gosh, there it is. Smithing stone level two, num one of them. Hey, so that means I can level up my item. All right, now we need to fall down on this other one below so that we avoid uh, dying. We did it, so we didn't take any damage. Unfortunately, though, uh, there's probably more bad guys here than we have spell points to fight. All right. So I could kill that guy. What about these rats? How hard are they? Hmm. Hard. But not the end of the world. Let me try to soften the other one up. Alright, I'm going to get my sword out. And I'm just going to... Alright. Oh, there's a lot of them now. Okay. Fair enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I tried to drink my potion, but I wasn't fast enough. God, I don't even know where I was. Huh. Wow. Well, I won't have to use as many this time to get back to the place where I just died. I don't know if I can make it back there. Let's go this way instead. Oh, God. That was a bit of a mistake. Okay, so I have been here. I'm actually going to warp back really fast. 
and see if I can make that jump. I didn't do it right, but I think if I... I think I can try to make this jump. And there could be something good over here. Yeah, just made it. Okay. And as for getting something good, I can drop down into here, which uh, I already did this. Darn. Alright. Anyway, nothing great. But can I talk to you? Help me, I'm a noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Anything but that. Please think of the disgrace. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I can't really help that guy that I understand. I'm going to run. And just not engage. And then uh, what I did before was I dropped down here. And then we killed this thing. Uh, but I don't really need the flasks at the moment. And then I jumped over here. And I'm just going to try to get my souls back and kind of pick up the progress where I was. Jellyfish, for sure, over here. Always good to see the jellyfish represented. All right, one drop. With full magic, this is not going to be the end of the world. So now I can just kind of... Even if there's a bunch of these rats down here, which there are, I have enough magic that I should be able to uh, fight them off. Wrong flask, but okay. And I got a whip. I am Indiana Jones, believe it or not. And... There's my runes. Okay. What do we got out here? We got smolderings. We got gibbets and gallows. And everything else that you would picture. Oh, and this is what I was really hoping for. A wonderful sight of grace. Alright. So now that we have this, I am going to just bounce way back to the round table hold and see if my man can improve our weapon. I could go and talk to the fingers. Uh, that's the library. That's the balcony. This is the way. Oh, your divinity have mercy and brought me forgiveness. Oh, he's praying. Oh, yet long, a god is not easily felled. No. But one day without fail, you will have your wish. So please grant me forgiveness, Queen America. Queen America. Huh. You, is it? It is me. I didn't notice you there. I don't see that you would. I'm doing my job, same as ever. Great. Just lay out your arms. I'll lay them out. Alright, can you strengthen this for me? Yes, it does take six. Uh, but this will increase our sorcery scaling by two. Great. And then we can actually increase it again because we have the Smithing Stones level three. And it improves our sorcery scaling by three again. Fantastic. And then to make it even better, we would need four Smithing Stones level three, which we don't have but make that up yeah do that improve my shield great about prayer those words were not meant for you oh I may be prisoner to you tarnished lot but my prayers are mine and mine alone yeah yeah you, you got it yours alone well I've had my say I'll be more careful too Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. 
Uh, can you level up? Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I am. Can you level up my wolves? No, I need stuff that I don't have. Okay. Good to see you. Awesome. Well, now my staff is absolutely pumped up. And let's see. If I wanted to level up, uh, I would need 8,200 and I need 5,100. So I'm just going to my inventory and I will uh, use this. And this gives me what? 1,200. Right, getting closer. I'm going to my inventory. And this should give me like 800 or something or 1,000. 800, yep. Alright, and then we can go to our inventory and use um, two of these. Is this 800? Yeah, alright. That's not going to be enough. Let me just use one more of those. Alright, and then now I can level up, right? Level up intelligence by one. Okay, and this will help us do even more damage, which we need. Our scaling has gone up, and so if we can kill some of those guys in one shot inside this castle, it's going to really, really help us. And then we're going to teleport back to beside the Rampart Jail. Perfect. And now we're at the Rampart Jail, and we can make progress in Castle Morn. Hopefully, maybe in this parapet there is something for us to find. And we will get into that next time. This is a great place to stop. We made progress. We leveled up our staff. We leveled up ourselves. And I'm feeling great. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And I will check you guys next time in Let's Play Elden Ring. Take care.